I'll do an example demographic slide, so I'll go into turning point as usual and insert an ordinary vertical graph slide. For this example, I'll just collect data on gender. To make this slide a demographic slide, just click on this button which has an icon of people on it. Now I'll enter the slides with the questions I wish to ask the audience. I'll select a 3D pie chart and enter my question and possible answer. It's OK to reduce the size of the answers text box and insert other objects on the page. It could be an image or another piece of text. It's also all right to go to other PowerPoint ribbons and use PowerPoint tools in the usual manner. I'll switch back to the turning point ribbon and insert a new slide and select a distributed pie chart this time and add the question and possible responses. Before I run the presentation, I want to remove this blank slide, so I'll right click on the slide and select Delete Slide from the drop down menu. Now it's simply a case of running the presentation as usual. Note the polling toolbar which appears at the top of the screen. You can keep an eye on that to see whether everyone has polled. When you've reached the required number of votes, click the slide to close the polling and you see the green bar turn red. Click the slide again to view the graph and we seem to have a 50-50 audience. Click the slide to go on to the next slide and you'll notice the polling open message appear green. When everyone has voted, click once to close the poll and click again to see the graph and then click a third time to go on to the next slide. I'll save the slide before running the report. Reports appear under the Tools menu. Ensure that the correct session is highlighted and then choose the Reports tab. Place a tick against Demographic Reports and against Page Breaks at the bottom left of the dialog box and then click Generate Report. It may take a while to run and then a spreadsheet will open with the information in tabular form on one worksheet and in graphical form on another. To quickly demonstrate another example, I'm going to retain the two slides with questions and possible answers, but I'll remove the first slide, which is the demographic one. I'll insert a new vertical graph slide and insert a new type of question. I need to drag it to the top. Remember to reset the session each time you want to run a new poll. Before running the presentation, I need to mark it as a demographic slide. Running through all the slides like this makes it seem a bit like a questionnaire and you would probably run them separately, interspersed by discussion. Save the presentation before running the report.
The graph format can be edited by right-clicking on the graph and selecting Format Chart Area from the drop-down menu. You could choose another texture or a gradient fill. You can change gradient fills by selecting another colour for stop 1, then choose another of the stop spots from the drop-down list and select another colour, and repeat if there are any more stop spots.